Section 12 of An Alphabet of History. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Patty Cunningham. An Alphabet of History by Wilbur D. Nesbitt. Section 12. Lucullus. Lucullus was a fighter for a portion of his life. He won the bay and laurel by his prowess in the strife. He came back home a hero, and no doubt just as to-day. They named a cocktail for him ere they looked the other way. But when Lucullus noticed he was losing grips on fame, he struck a happy notion to perpetuate his name. He took to giving dinners in a palace he had built. Tis said that lots was eaten, and a sea of wine was spilt that guests might order anything in dishes old or new, and get the very rarest, and a second order, too. Quick lunches or coarse dinners, anything a man could wish, in the line of drinks or dainties, yet he was no nubo rich. Lucullus won great battles, victories that he might boast, yet to-day we recollect him merely as a lavish host. It is said that once he ordered quite the richest feast prepared, but no guest came to enjoy it, and the busy chef was scared. "'Is nobody here for dinner?' asked the flustered, pestered chef. "'I am dining with Lucullus,' roared Lucullus. "'Are you deaf?' But we think that one great reason for his never-dying fame, for the pure, unfading luster of his dinner-eating name, is that though Lucullus feasted at a very great expense, and sat down to simple breakfasts where the health foods were immense, he was gracious to his fellows, was considerate of each, and he never put his chestnuts in an after-dinner speech. End of section 12. Recording by Patty Cunningham.